class. How are you doing? And how was the weekend? Mombi, why today we are going to be doing um, psychology? Somebody told me we are just talking in our last class. Who made that sound? Who made that funny sound? If you don't tell me who made that sound, I'm going to leave this class for you people once and for all. I beg you, go go away. You don't know. Who made that sound? Who made that sound? Sammy, I don't know. You don't know. Okay. It's okay. Like I was saying, we stopped at. Um... <laughs> Who is making that sound? Who is blowing that whistle? Who is blowing that whistle in this place? Who whistle should talk now? Who blew that whistle? Maybe he came from outside. I said if you blow that whistle, then I will leave this class. Who blew that whistle? You all don't know. Some about the whistle now. We'll tell you some about the whistle class. Let's just forget about today's lecture. How about that? What? <laughs> no, don't be scared. Don't worry, don't worry. Let's just just let me tell you guys the story. Come close, come close. Good afternoon, class, once again. Good afternoon, sir. Um, so you all know me. My name is Professor Festus, a professor in psychology. Um, I will share a little story of what happened to me the other day. So on Wednesday in my house, at about 9 p.m., I had finished all I was doing. I finished marking your scripts. I was trying to fall asleep. I couldn't fall asleep. You know these things. Then I decided to maybe go to the fuel station and fill my tank. So on transit while I was moving, I saw this very beautiful damsel. It's not what you think. Hey! It's not what you think, not what you think, not what you think, what you think, what you think. So like I was saying, she was so beautiful. I couldn't hold it. And then I approached her because she was walking alone. I offered to drop her off in the house. So while we were moving, we began to talk, we discussed. We discussed about love, about politics. She told me about her family. I told her about myself. She knew everything about me. I was so lost in her eyes. To cut the long story short, we got to her house and it was time to say goodbye. You didn't Before she said goodbye, she told me something. She said she needed my help. She said she actually knew me as a professor and her brother was actually my student. In this class. And then she asked, if I could help pass her brother in all my courses, like all the courses I thought, if I could just give her brother an A, A, A. To me, it wasn't a big deal because she was so beautiful. And then I asked her, okay, what is the name of your brother so I can do this for him? And she said, no need, you're going to find him. And I was like, how? She said, you find him in your class. He whistles a lot. Mm -hmm. Hey! So it's not me, oh, stop! No one has a whistle! Stop, it's not me, I'm not the one! So you're the one whistling in my class? So, so it's not me! So I'm not the one, please, I'm, I'm not the come one! Out here. Ginger, you're I'm white! I said, come out! No, sir, it's not me, it's not me, it can't be me! I'm not come out here! Hey. Hey. So he has been the one whistling! Bana! 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 He has been the one whistling! I'm um, actually class, now you know why I'm a professor in psychology. And you see, for that story I told you people, all that story, rubbish! <laughs> come on, follow me! 